Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. That great song came to my mind this morning. It goes, Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Yeah, he is an awesome God. I stand in awe of you. I stand in awe of you, oh God. Holy Spirit, thank you for your presence here this morning. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Fill your Fill this place. <laughs> fill this place with your presence. We love to, to feel you, Lord, in this place with us. We love to feel you. <laughs> Barometric pressure kept coming to my mind and in how uh, many times I can feel the barometric pressure changing and I feel uh, aches and pains in my bones. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. I had no idea what, until right now, what this message was gonna talk about, but when the barometric pressure changes, I feel aches and pains in my bones. <laughs> And that's how it feels. It can feel pretty darn uncomfortable when you're living in the presence of God, like you're living and breathing His Holy Spirit, when day after day you're entering into that secret place on Secret Place Drive. You're, you're coming here every single day. It can feel pretty uncomfortable because He, he shows you things about yourself. He, he tells you things about yourself. And then <laughs> you can't help but to change those things. You don't want to stay the same. It's kind of like that barometric pressure change in the weather where you feel those aches and pains in your joint. It's a known fact. It's one of the top, top sensations that happens when the barometric pressure changes. Holy Spirit, change me. Keep changing me from glory to glory, from strength to strength. I don't want to stay the same. I always want to love the truth. Good morning, Carmine and Kelly. Hi, Cal is in the house. Welcome. Good morning to you, too. Darn it, that barometric pressure. Wow. It's like that. You, you get aches and pains because you have to move out of your comfort zone when you're living in the presence of God. When you're living and breathing His Word, taking a breath in, and it's Him. And you're exhaling out toxins. <laughs> he's, he's cleansing you from the inside out. That's really what it's like. I don't like it. <laughs> do I like it? No, I do not like it. It feels very uncomfortable. I was in a room full of some of my closest friends and last night I'm talking to somebody. I had a, I had a, there was an atmospheric change. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit was working inside of me atmosphere the atmosphere it, it the Holy Spirit caused me to to confess 
<laughs> do some repenting, but have some some healing. Healing came with my confession. Healing came with my with my uh, admitting I am not perfect. <sighs> so the barometric pressure. I felt it last night. There was an atmospheric change inside of me that happened when I surrendered. I surrendered to the living God. That's what happens. For believers, we can live in that special place. We can live there and, and it's not always uncomfortable. <laughs> Sometimes it's really fun, adventurous. Sometimes it's, it's like, wow, supernatural. Even the uncomfortable stuff, out of your comfort zone kind of stuff is very supernatural and very um, still fun. Hallelujah. Kelly says hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, I read Psalm 91 over and over again here, but do you know what it actually means to believers? When you're living in that secret place on secret place drive, Matthew 6, 6, when you go into that secret place and you shut the door, meaning you shut the world out, shut everything out, and you focus in on God and the presence of God, believers, this is, this is what believers, it's kind of like what, what we get for doing that. <laughs> Psalm 91, we're protected, we're delivered. Let's, let's read through Psalm 91 right now. Wait, <laughs> Holy Spirit's reminding me we need to pray. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would place that blood of the Lamb, shield of protection around us to guard our heart, soul, body, mind, and our spirit. And let nothing but your love penetrate that blood of the Lamb, shield of protection in the name of Jesus Christ. Place that same blood of the Lamb, shield of protection around every single mode of transportation, every single dwelling place, every single place that we lay our head to rest. Lord, place on us that helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt buckle of truth, shot our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace of Jesus Christ. Place in our hand the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, sharper than any double-edged sword. Place in our other hand that shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever. It does not say that. I added ever and ever. <laughs> Kelly, thank you, Lord. I am the clay. Shape me, mold me so that I am surrendered to you. That's exactly it. I'm, I'm right there with you, sis. <laughs> Let's go over to Psalm 91. Let's talk about Psalm 91 and, and read it, declare it, decree it over your life, the lives of your family. But I want to talk about it. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. He who dwells, like not he who visits once a week. <laughs> not he who, who stops in to say, hey, I was here. I was here, now I'm gone. No, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will abide under the shadow of the Almighty when we dwell in his presence. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. We have this assurance and we can say this when we dwell in the presence of God. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. There it is. He offers you deliverance. He will deliver you out of evil when you dwell in the secret place. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. I don't know about you, but I want to be right there under the wings in his refuge of the almighty God. And when I dwell, since I dwell in the living place of God, that is where you will find me. Hallelujah. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. His truth is the word of God. John says it. First chapter in John. Read that today. It's my favorite book in the Bible. His truth shall be your shield and your buckler. This is my shield and this is my buckler. 
I shall not be afraid of the terror by night. No, it says you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor by the arrow that flies by day. There's no fear when you're walking by faith, hallelujah, and you're dwelling in that secret place of God, nor of the arrow that flies by day. Oh no, you're protected when you're girding up in the armor of God and you're literally dwelling in that secret place day by day, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand. Are we sitting there under the feathers of his wings, dwelling in the secret place? Um, laughing, laughing at the thousand falling at, at your side or the 10,000 at your right hand because because you're sitting there under the safety of the shadow of his wings because you're dwelling in the secret place. No, you're just thankful to be dwelling in that holy place. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. This is for the righteous. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place. It says it again, the dwelling place of God. It's the secret place where he lives. Secret place is dwelling with God. No evil will befall you when you are dwelling with him, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling while you're dwelling with God. For he shall give his angels charge over you. Oh, it's glorious when you're righteous and you're, you're walking with him and you're abiding in him. He is the vine, you are the branch. When you are dwelling in that secret place, he will give his angels charge over you. You have access to angels, and there are many kinds of angels. I appointed a guardian angel to my granddaughter yesterday, Avery, Jean, and a, a guardian angel is looking over Adam as well. Those angels will keep you in all of your ways. In their hands, they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. You shall trample them over foot. You will come overcome all evil because you have been dwelling with God in the secret place. Because he has set my set his love upon let's see. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. So there you go. The Lord is saying, when you set your love upon him, he will deliver you. I will set him on high because he has known my name. This is God talking to you, believers. I will set him on high. God will set you on high. He'll set you apart from others. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. So when you pray to him, when you call out to God, he will answer you because he knows you. You've been dwelling in the secret place of the Almighty. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him in honor. God will honor you. He will honor you when you're abiding in him, when you are dwelling in the secret place, when you, number one, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him. I will trust when you put all of your trust in him, he will deliver you. He will bring his angels charge over you. No evil will befall you. He is your refuge. He is your strength. You will, you will tread upon the lion and the cobra, the serpent you will trample underfoot. He will honor you because you're putting his name on high with long life. He will give you long life when you're dwelling and, and abiding in his secret place. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. He will save you. <laughs> he gives you salvation, the free gift of salvation. You will live in eternity with with God in Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Ooh, I feel the Holy Spirit heavy, heavy here. There's a heavy atmospheric change this morning. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord, yeah, yeah. He's blessed me with all kinds of song titles lately for this new worship CD called Outer Limits. I prophesied it the other morning and lo, whoa <laughs> it's come in just around the corner thank you father for your presence here this morning there's nothing more than that we want than to be in your presence then we want to be dwelling in the secret place of the most high god under the shadow of the almighty we know you'll deliver us 
We know you'll you'll let us trample over the lion and the serpent. We know you'll bring charge charges of angels over us. We know you'll honor us because we dwell in the secret place. You'll find me living at that secret place, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. His word is true. It will not return void. It will not fall to the ground. It cannot lie. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Kelly says, thank you, Lord. I am the the clay. Oh, <laughs> someone's liking and loving all. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's awesome. It, it changes the algorithms, changes the barometric pressure on social media when you like and love. So thank you so much. Kind of you. If you would share this message, it'll get out to more people. Holy Spirit, thank you for your for your presence here. Change, change the lives. Change the channel this morning. <laughs> change the channel this morning. Tune in, tune in to Holy Spirit. Listen for him. He has, he has a special word for you this morning. He has a special word. And I'm talking to someone about the barometric pressure. Sometimes you, sometimes maybe every time the atmosphere changes, you feel that, you feel that change in your bones. Maybe you feel that change in your bones. Your bones are coming back to life, Ezekiel. Maybe your bones are, are coming back, right? Maybe God's bringing restoration. He's bringing restitution payback. He's redeeming you. He's a redeemer. My redeemer lives. He lives in me. He lives in you. My Redeemer lives. Feel that barometric pressure change this morning? I do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Steve Hillstein's in the house. Glory. Bless your day. God loves you. He desires relationship with you. He wants you to be dwelling in that secret place. Read Matthew 6.6. 6. Go in and shut the door. Shut it. Shut everything out. And you will hear from God. Praise the Lord. I'll see you again next time for another live daily devotional. God bless you.